forecourt in this car. Uh, yeah. Cheers. Well, I've always wanted my own stunt driver, and I've got one of the best. This is Russ Swift, in case you don't know who Russ is. He does the uh, actual driving on the Montego ad on television, you know, where they get stuck in the car park and twist around. Nice to see you. Good morning. Everybody says there are special effects on that, are there? No, there isn't uh, any special effects whatsoever. It was all done for real, as you see um, it happen. Um, uh, the camera angles were, were changed to get the best effect to, to show what we did, but uh, there's, there's no trick photography whatsoever. There was one slightly misleading uh, section on the film, which is uh, as I approached the ramp and you see a, the gap of cars which I'm supposed to drive through on two wheels. I didn't actually go through that gap. It was an impossible gap to drive through on two wheels, but I did in fact drive through a gap that you couldn't have driven through on four wheels. Yeah. Um, so in fact there are no special effects, but are there any modifications to the cars? Yes, in fact we use four different cars for that advert. Um, two of them we used for two wheeling. One had a roll cage in uh, for shots where you uh, would see the roll cage. We used one without a roll cage in. Mm. And th those two cars had uh, locked differentials. And apart from that, they were absolutely standard. Uh, the car that I did all the spins with, the only modification to, to that was um, uh, operating the suspension to make it a bit more predictable. Uh, I put rally type tyres on to, with a stiffer sidewall so that you could uh, get the feel of what was happening rather than the tyres rolling around uh, on the rim, and the other car was a purely cosmetic car. Right, now you do all your own modifications, don't you? Yes. And you get your spare parts from Reg Vardy Yes, today? yes, the, the very, uh, very good friends of mine here, and they, they let me use the workshop facilities and the special tools, and, uh, and I get all my parts here. Yeah. We've got two of your cars. The one that I'm uh, leaning against is the one you do the wheelies on. That's right, the, the diff's locked on that car, so right. that when one wheel comes off the ground, the other one still drives. Uh, which on a, a conventional car doesn't happen. Now, how do you actually turn it round? <coughs> do you do it on the handbrake? Uh, when you spin from forwards to reverse, you use the handbrake. When you spin from reverse to forwards, you use the footbrake uh, to have the same effect. You, you turn into the, uh, the turn and then stand on the footbrake very, very hard, which locks the front wheels and, and, and starts, starts the turn. Once the turn's started, then you take it up on the power and pull the car out. And on the, on the two wheels, if you're in a skid, you drive into it, don't you? You, you turn into it. it. It's like riding a bike very slowly. Uh, if it falls one way, you, you turn that way. It's like a slow cycle race. But it's a very, very strange sensation. Obviously, the, the wheel isn't uh, turning like a, a normal wheel. It, it's, it's about 60 degrees to the road, so therefore it, it's acting like a sanding disc on the tarmac. And uh, you don't have the gyroscopic effect of a, of a, of a, of a wheel on a, on a bike. But you are, in fact, turning into the ground all the time with the front or the back of the tyre. And it's a very strange technique to... Uh, to to bounce it like that. And if you thought that was impressive, just watch this. This, in fact, is Russ's eight-year-old son, Paul. You heard it right. He's eight years old. How did you get involved in this? Um, I started doing this sort of thing through the grassroots of motorsport. Most motor clubs in the country organise a thing called auto tests, which are uh, fairly sedate. Uh, events normally where you take your mother's car along and, and set some bollards out in a car park and, and you try and get around them as fast as you can. I won four British championships at that sport and was the England team captain and travelled all over Europe, Scandinavia and was winning international events and uh, started getting asked to do exhibition work and uh, since then we've, we've built up on that and uh, two years ago I went full time doing this exhibition and uh, one winter perfected the art of two-wheeling and added that to our displays. Anyway, if you can do some more stunts for us, I'd be more than welcome. Pleasure. Cheers. Well, it's pretty exciting driving.